everyone, are you ready to worship with us today? Let's remember, dress neatly, sit upright, and keep our eyes and ears on God. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Do you remember who I am? This is Shepherd Ellie. I hope everybody stays healthy and happy. And I know you also really, really want to attend the worship in church face to face with friends and Pastor Sue. Let's start our worship with the mind, hoping this pandemic ends soon. Are you ready to worship with prayer? Then let's put your hands together, close your eyes, and head down. Let's pray. God, our Father, thank you for this wonderful weather, such a nice family and friends you gave to me. Thank you for showering us with your love every day. May you cleanse my sinful mind and forgive the wrong things I made last week. Help me spend this week with a smile on my face so I could get along well with people around me. Please open my heart when I listen to your words today. We pray for the people sick, especially mom of Shepherd Lois. We pray you would heal her mom and comfort her family. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
It's time for call to worship. It's found in book Psalm chapter 95 verse 1 to 3. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and extol Him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Scripture reading for this week is Acts chapter 9 verse 27. But Manabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his journey had seen the Lord, and that the Lord had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Now repeat after me. This is the Bible. I believe what it says. I confess my heart is receptive. I will follow whatever it says. In Jesus' name, Amen. There are hearts that are yet to see the power of Christ that has set them free. For such a love you have sent your Son What type of friends do you like? Do you like a friend who treats you badly? Oh, probably not. Do you like a friend who can understand you? Yes, you do. Someone who can understand you. Paul was the same. Paul's previous name was Saul. He used to persecute Christians. He thought he was doing God's work. He thought he was pleasing God, but he was wrong. One day, a bright light from heaven flashed around him. Saul lost his vision. He became blind. He cannot see anything. God sent someone to pray for him so he could see again. His vision was restored. He was able to see again. Then Saul started to believe in Jesus. Saul changed his name to Paul. Paul wanted to live a new life. Paul wanted to devote his life to Jesus. Paul went to see the disciples, but the disciples were afraid of him. Paul told them that he now believed in Jesus, but no one believed his word. The other disciples didn't believe in him because Paul killed many Christians in the past. They didn't want to be close to Paul. Poor Paul. At that very moment, Barnabas was there for him. He was became Paul's friend. Since then, Paul and Barnabas worked together. They traveled together to evangelize people. They went to Asia Minor together. They spread the gospel. They became good partners. Barnabas believed in Paul. They both became partners in evangelism. Do you have such a friend? I hope that you find such a good friend. Repeat after me. They 
Show me your fingers, okay? They spread the gospel. One more time. They spread the gospel. Good. Now let's pray together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your head. Loving Father, we thank you for our friends. Thank you for giving us our friends. Please give us good spiritual friends too. In Jesus' name, Amen. Chapter 46, verse 1. God is refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10. 